In seventh grade, we will be utilizing World Story 2 from Masterbooks as our spine for world history. And I really use that extremely loosely, the word spine, because we love supplements. We love supplements for history. And for World Story 1, we found some great supplements that we are going to continue with World Story 2. And then also I am bringing in a few new things as well, because that's just how we like to do it in our homeschool. So let's start with just the basics for World Story 2. Angela O'Dell does write it as a living history book. It has relatively short chapters with some pictures and it's a great jumping off point for us. If I use this as the only thing for history, I really don't think that my daughter would retain a lot of the history that is included. It is something that we need more than just using this as a read aloud. Additionally, there is the teacher's manual. So the teacher's manual does include worksheets, timeline, etc. I am not a huge fan of what is included in the teacher's manual for these master books history programs. It's a lot of writing and we don't really enjoy that around here. So it, I do bring in other things. And plus some of the questions that are included in the teacher's manual are actually included in the book. And we already have talked about them. So my daughter is really like, well, why do I need to write it down when we've already discussed it while we were reading? And so we do stay away from many of the worksheets in the teacher's manual, but not all of them. I just pick and choose what we like. I also purchased the timeline from Masterbooks. We really do enjoy these timeline pieces. We enjoy putting them on the trifolds and then getting to see just how things are progressing. So we like those. This year I did something different. I purchased the family guide from Biblioplan. Now this does not go 100% with each chapter for master books, but it goes well enough to be able to give me great ideas for supplements. And I use this because I noticed that last year I spent quite a bit of time trying to find supplements for world history. And Biblioplan has so many more than what I could ever use. For each section, they have reader suggested readers for K through 2, 3 to 5, 5 to 8, 8 to 12 high school readers, and then you have family read alouds. Also, there's optional resources. There are free online videos and audiobooks, hands-on fun. There is just so much information, free downloads, so this is for each section. And so I did purchase this family guide in hopes to reduce the amount of time that I did in researching the supplements for world history. And I think that it really did help me. The way that I do start planning for world history is I just have this simple grid where I have the chapters with a very shortened title of what we're talking about. And then I have the open boxes for books that we're going to read, for activities that we're going to do, for videos, things like that. And I fill it in based on what I already have, what worked well. If you do like these planning videos, please make sure that you are subscribed because I am working on more planning videos for different subjects for middle school. Now let's talk about what worked well in World Story 1 and it has enough information in it that I can carry it over into World Story 2. First up is the Us Born Time Traveler book. This is just a fun book and it has great pictures and we just have fun looking at it. It's not too serious, but it really brings a little bit of levity to the day. Next are History Bites, My Daughter loved these last year. This was one of her favorite supplements that we found. And so we will continue them for this year as well as next year because there is that much information in these. I have Infamous People Volume 1, Great Adventures, and then Major Wars. These are wonderful because they contain such short chapters of the information. You are really just reading a, a few pages, some pictures and fun facts. These fun facts are things that my daughter thought were the best part of History Bites. So History Bites is something that we will definitely be keeping and utilizing whenever possible. Something else that we discovered last year that we loved were the Take Time for Art art packs. 
Now, I was really kind of surprised at how much my daughter liked them because she's not an art person, but she loved this Take Time for Art. I guess I just needed to incorporate art with history because history is her favorite. The way that I am setting up next year is we are going to take the first couple weeks of the year to review. We start with the fall of Rome in World Story 2, but we are going to do this Take Time for Art art pack for Rome as our review. In addition to the Take Time for Art art pack for Rome, we will be watching the drive through history for Rome. We love the drive through history videos. They have been amazing as an addition to our history, and so I will keep watching those because they are so much fun and so informative. Additionally, last year we discovered doodle pages from Teachers Pay Teachers. We loved them. They were great in learning how to take notes and really getting to the point of some of our historical facts. And they were awesome in bringing out additional information that was not necessarily in the World Story book, but that I thought was something that we needed to know. So we will be continuing with Doodle Pages throughout World Story 2. We will utilize the Roman ones as a review, and then also they have ones for the fall of Rome. But Doodle Pages are so much fun. And as my daughter gets better in taking notes, Doodle Pages has it set up so that I can reduce the number of words that are actually on the page so she is taking more and more notes. A supplement that I've been using for years that we love in our homeschool are the Who Was books. This year may be the last year that we are able to use the Who Was books because my daughter is outgrowing them. I'm hoping that I can continue them through eighth grade, but we'll just have to see. So for this coming year, we will be reading What Was the Age of Exploration? What are castles and knights? Who was the girl warrior in France? Now this one is a graphic novel. This is the only graphic novel who was book that I purchased, but I just thought this would be something that would be fun to break it up a little bit. So my daughter will be reading that graphic novel. Also, who was Ferdinand Magellan? Who was Marco Polo? and who was Leonardo da Vinci. When I was at Teach Them Diligently, my friend Katie from Life in the Mundane introduced me to some books that are very similar to Who Was books, but are written from a Christian perspective. The Who Was books are not written from a Christian worldview, but these are. So we will be reading Why Did the Reformation Happen? What Was the Gutenberg Bible? And Who Was Martin Luther? Another supplement that my daughter absolutely loves is horrible histories. She loves the books and she loves the YouTube videos that we get to watch. So we will be continuing with horrible histories in seventh grade. We have the angry Aztecs and the incredible Incas, the smashing Saxons and the storm and Normans, the terrible Tudors, a handbook for knights and vicious Vikings and the measly middle ages. So these are books that she reads independently. She loves them and loves telling me about the facts that she has discovered through these horrible history books. So I'm excited to be able to continue them in our seventh grade year. Something else that we discovered in sixth grade that we loved were Mr. Nikki's historical parodies on YouTube. Before, when we were studying American history, we had loved Mr. Betts' historical parodies. And so my daughter really wanted me to find somebody who had historical parodies for world history because Mr. Betts doesn't have nearly as many. And we discovered Mr. Nikki. They are wonderful. My daughter learned so much about Mesopotamia, Roman culture, etc. through the Mr. Nikki video. So we will be continuing those in seventh grade. With all of these great resources that I am continuing from sixth grade into seventh grade because we love them, let's talk about how I plan. What I do next is really go through and write down on my chart what I already have or what I know that I'm going to use. So for example, I know the horrible history books that I was able to get and I will write them down. So what I want to see are really where are my gaps? What am I missing? And let's see if I can fill in some of those gaps. Well, Take Time for Art has an entire Middle Ages unit. So I can utilize this throughout the year when I want to do different projects. So we will be doing anything from a mosaic 
to a brooch, to stained glass window, to a catapult. So this is something that I can incorporate when I need it and when it fits throughout the year. This Middle Ages take time for art really does take us throughout the whole year rather than just concentrating on one country or one era like we have done in the past. I also was able to find a You Decide Middle Ages book. We love these You Decide books. I loved them when I was growing up and my daughter loves them as well. So she will be reading this You Decide Middle Ages book. We also have a Build a Night Castle. This is a pop-out to paper toy archaeology. So we'll be using that. I have a hundred facts of knights and castles. I have the Renaissance thinkers. This is history projects for kids. So for major influencers within the Renaissance, there are projects that are included in this book for my hands-on kinesthetic learner. Speaking of hands-on, we will definitely be studying Da Vinci and doing some of his hands-on projects. There are so many that are available out there, but Leonardo Da Vinci is someone who I want to focus on. Also, we have the Tudor's picture book from Usborn. This is, again, just a fun book that we will add to the tutors section. Now let's talk about some other books that we are having for either historical read alouds or independent reads for history. Many of these I decided to get because of the Biblioplan Family Guide. These were recommended through the Biblioplan. Now, not all of them, but quite a few. I was there, the Battle of Hastings, King Arthur and the Knights of his Round Table, Redwall, the Knight Rider, Samurai's Tale, A Single Shard. When we do A Single Shard, I did purchase from Moving Beyond the Page, the literature study that they have available with A Single Shard, and we will be doing this. We do try to do approximately two literature studies per year, one per semester, and so I'm really excited about utilizing A Single Shard for a literature study since it corresponds with one of our history books that we have. Adam of the Road, Adorn the Wall, The Book of Boy, The King's Fifth, The Midwife's Apprentice, and then Mary Bloody Mary. My daughter does love history, which is why we spend so much time on that subject. It is something that she just loves to devour. And so we will continue to feed into her interest of history as much as possible. I hope that this video has been helpful in giving you some ideas as to what you can use with your history for the Middle Ages for middle school.